Hi everyone, I'm Tina, the Creative Guru with Gems, Paper, Scissors, and I am back to finish off this layout that I started earlier on, I believe it was the fourth, um, how I twisted the stamp set into a race car in our private VIP group on, YouTube, on Facebook. I showed how to do a QR code to put a video into a layout. And today I'm going to show you how to insert a flip flap into a page protector so everything is connected and stays safe through all of the, the years to come. So it is super fast and easy. I am going to mark where I want my flip flap. So let's just lay it down with the backing still on. You can give it just a little bit of space. Use a Sharpie or something pointy to mark where you want to cut into your page protector, just like so. I'm just using some tweezers because the tips are really, really sharp. Then slide something underneath the page protector to protect your layout. In this case, I'm using an old pokey mat, but a self-healing mat works, an old piece of cardboard, whatever works for you. Use what's handy. And I'm going to use a straight edge. In this case, it's an old uh, ruler and something sharp. You can use an X-Acto knife. I'm kind of clumsy, so I like the ones that attach to my finger because I can guide it really, really smoothly. You can use a pair of craft scissors. Use something that's sharp and handy. Start at one point, cut on through until you get to the other point. That's it. That's all there is. I am gonna go over it a few times because I did not press hard enough to cut through, but I kind of like doing it that way. It keeps things a little more accurate for me. Um, but really all you're doing is cutting through your page protector. As you can tell, I still haven't quite made it, but I'm almost there. So I'm going to move my, my smooshy mat and cut one more time. And this time it feels like a cut through. And I want it as smooth as I can get it. I don't want it choppy. Sometimes if it's going to get a lot of use, I'll do an extra little mark with my scissors or X-Acto knife going across my, my cut line just for a reinforcement. It's kind of like when you sew. <clears throat> then go ahead and slide your flip flop in and a little bit through because you need to be able to work that protector off just like so. Then... Remember these fold down. You're gonna slide it behind your photo that it's flip-flopping with, just like so, and press it down. At which point you have a very functional flip-flop that goes through your page protector so everything is protected and the sticky flap is tucked behind your artwork or your photos to keep it nice and smooth just like so and that is it for today's tip on how to install a flip flap through your page protector and a layout have a good day and i will see you saturday with our stamp of the month have a great day bye for now